Hey guys, Natasha with the Day with Ethel vlog. Let me tell you, I'm so glad I stumbled across this book. She's a new to me author. She's um, kind of an established author and now I feel like I wish I could read more of her stuff, which I probably will. And it's KU, so it's even better. This is Still Not Yours by Nicole Snow. And let me tell you, Riker Woods and Olivia Holly are just, they are the epitome of second chances and second chances of everything of getting to know somebody and their story and this kind of um I'm going to give you this one quote and it's later in the book but it kind of helps me get with what I'm going to tell you about the story we can't we can read each other's minds like we're the front and back covers of a love story without all the chapters in between Olivia live sees two people murdered in front of her. She's kind of caught in the crosshairs between a drug drug war, but ultimately finds out it's something that her sister has done. Her sister's a famous musician and her sister's kind of on a rocky pass and trying to get back her life. And when her sister finally gets back on her life, Liv kind of gets stumbled into it. So now she has to be protected and she has to get protected by a, somebody that is willing to do the best they can. In comes Riker Woods. Riker works for In Guard Securities and um, I've never read any of Nicole's other series and so there's more to the In Guard Securities which I've downloaded their books and I'll be reading them. But Riker is tough. He is a fighter. He is somebody that takes in, he's the best man for this job. But he also has to play house with her. The best way to protect Liv is to almost do something in plain sight. She's now become his new fiance. But he also has to introduce her to his really smart, very kind of like curious 13 year old M. M is on the brilliant scale. This girl is, she's so smart, but he also wants to keep her as a kid too. And he knows that doing doing right by Liv is also doing right by M. But you kind of have to get over his gruffness. He's had a past. He's had his walls put up because of his past. And throughout the story, those walls come down. But he also does something for Liv. Liv really has never had somebody look at her and not think, oh, she's just the musician's sister or she's just a rich girl. She's not, she's so much more. She is, um, she has so much energy. She's willing to learn. She's willing to give and um, take on responsibilities, but nobody ever thinks she can. It's like, oh, we'll just pay for it to get taken care of. Liv's tired of that. Liv wants her own voice. Liv wants to be herself. And so she starts writing. She wants to be an author. And as she's writing her love story, she doesn't know what's going to happen with her heroine and her hero because they kind of fight back and forth with this, their ugliness that they have. And as the story unfolds, there's a lot of angst and suspense because you don't know who's chasing after her. You don't know what's going to happen. And throughout it, like I had to catch my breath. I was at the edge of my seat because I just didn't know who is wanting to hurt Liv because once you get to know her, you kind of, you fall in love with her because she's so charismatic and she has this huge heart. She, you know, starts enjoying her time with M and learning self-defense. And then she starts having these feelings for Riker and they both, they both kind of start acting on those feelings and those feelings become more. They become where they can read each other's faces. They can see the anguish. And when the everything is stacked up against him, he fights for her, he gets her. And it's just one of those things, everything just kind of comes apart and then it comes back together. And that's what's really beautiful and kind of gets me going in this whole story. And some people can't stand the age difference. Well, guess what people? I married someone 20 years older than me and we've been together for almost 19 years. It's well worth it. So guys, go get this book. It is amazing. It is one of those that, I'm gonna read a quote. I don't know when I started wanting this act to be real, 
but that wanting builds inside me with each intensity and takes up all the space I need to breathe. That's exactly how I feel about this book, guys. It's in the links. Go get it.